Jenna, everybody! It's a lot of new things. First of all, I am doing a makeup tutorial today. We are doing Luna Ferrea Nox Flore from Final Fantasy 15. And as you're noticing, I'm talking. We're gonna try to do a talking makeup tutorial this time, not voiceover style. We'll see how that goes. We'll see how we like it. Don't know. We'll notice when I'm editing or if you like it or you don't. <laughs> and if, if, here you can see the, the um, duct tape that I've used to uh, duct tape my tripod to uh, the wig stand uh, to hold up the new camera. Ah! And I'm so happy I was finally able to get one. Actually, it was a little bit thanks to you guys and the Patreon peeps for supporting me in getting a camera. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and I'm gonna stop talking uh, for a little second at least and let's get to it. I'm using NYX foundation. like that. My eye is making sounds. An amazing thing with Final Fantasy Teen is that their, uh, their skin is actually not perfect. It's It's got the flaws, it looks more realistic, not as fake but I rather put on a blank canvas and put on the same imperfection instead of having like the same imperfections that a character has instead of my own I know that's silly but oh well concealer fit me Oh my god, I'm a guru. <laughs> Any type of concealer will do. Fit Me is not the best one. It's affordable and it does its job for the price. I did try another one that I got for free um, once, but when I looked it up, it cost. 500 Swedish crowns, which I'm not spending on a concealer. So, I went back to this basic one. Does its job. It's not perfect. Not at all, actually. But, you know, when you're a student with no stable income here, you do what you gotta do. It is powder time! Ooh! It is powder time! Ooh! Where's my powder brush? There it is. Look how tiny this thing is. Very sick of it! Using loose powder from random Japanese store in Harajuku, which is why I'm not showing it to you because you're not gonna be able to find it. I have no idea what the brand name is. Never worked with loose powder before buying this stupid thing in Japan. Don't like loose powder. Don't know how people use loose powder. I feel like it just gets everywhere. It gets on my clothes. It's either too much or it's too little. I just don't get it. Feels like... I guess you need to have loose powder to do the baking stuff. Very relevant to me. Disclaimer Have you watched my videos? You know, I despise eyebrows because they are so important for your face and for your character, but I always mess up. Why 
is it becoming gray? It's almost blue. Let's throw you back in there. You're strange. Are there mold or something? I don't know what's going on. I tried to remove them. Didn't really work that either. Let's try to do this again. I'm going in with a NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I'm not that worried um, about the arch. Uh, she doesn't really have an arch, but her eyebrows are more straight than my, like straight upwards, like this, um, than mine are. But that will get sold with tape later on. So here. We have eyeshadow palette of the past. I'm gonna go for these yellowish colors, but oh, that are kind of light. Since hers are very light yellowish, almost. Taking this stuff, gonna dot some con. Sealer on here. Not using it the way it's supposed to. Just a little, very little. Maybe like Hannah, what is going on? We are making my hair slider. Do you have a light? Brow mascara, go for that instead. Of course, I don't. This is my way of solving that issue. Now that we're done with that, we are moving on to carving out our eyebrows. We are moving on to eyeshadow. This is kind of my, kind of like my holy grail. Aha. Uh -huh. It's a daughter eyeshadow palette, matte chocolates. So if you have something similar, go with that one. I'm going with a color similar to my own to just cover my eyelid. I do that with my finger because I'm a rebel. Boom. So guys, let me know. Have you played Final Fantasy XV? If you haven't, do it. I really like it. I haven't played episode art in yet. I uh, haven't felt that much in the mood, to be honest. I've been playing Breath of the Wild <laughs> instead. I'm kind of still upset about them cancelling episode of Freya, so I feel like if they had their priorities straight, they would have le released Luna Freya instead of Arden. I already felt like Arden was a full-fledged, well-developed character. Luna Freya wasn't. So I feel like out of the characters, uh, she was the one that deserved some extra love, but she didn't get any. So still kind of upset about that. Going to the next full throttle plain cool Daring Damsel. This light yellow one. It has a little bit of shine to it. It's so pale that it actually kind of matches my skin tone. So it's like a base, good base, but with some extra shine. Luna Freya has a little bit of pink eyeshadow. We're going back to the, this mess around on the light pink things. Rather a warm color than cold pink also. She has a lot of this going on under her eyes as well. Luna Freya's eye shape is quite different from mine. Her eyes are a lot bigger and a lot almost droopier than mine are. 
Uh, it's like the Cindy makeup tutorial, again, actually. Let's go in with this one. Just to get more of that crease action going on. And due to her round eyes, I will not put a little more effort up here. Rather on the outside of the crease. Which I usually do to enhance my own eye shape. I want to change it, pulling it in a little, an even darker brown, and a little bit warmer this time. That one. We're back at next. Oh, the camera is dying. Great. That's what I want. Lighting, maybe a different angle. I have tape, I have lenses. The battery died, <laughs> so I just took the time when it was charging to put in the lenses. They are super pinky blue. I would ra much rather have a um, lighter blue, but I don't have that in right now. And the tape I have a separate video on, so I'll put it somewhere. Let's go in with eyeliner. She doesn't have much. And this is also where things will start to go strangely, because we're not making a usual cat eye. We are taking it a little bit downwards instead to make her puppy eye. Um, I'm using an um, eyeliner that is felt tipped for a lighter and more precise and thin look. And this is where instead of going upwards, I am just following that curve and dragging it. On there instead. Do, 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 do. Those are not matching at all. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. No. I'm not used to doing these weird, weird droopy eyeliners. From there, I'll take my brown, very used contour pencil that I bought from Arda Wigs. I don't know the brand. But I know that they they don't ship to Sweden anymore, so I have no way of restocking on this. It's taking that shape down here. Not doing that with the eyeliner since I don't want a too harsh. I don't want a too harsh look, so I'm doing it with the pen instead of the eyeliner. Bye bye B! Let's jump into contour, since both she and I are very pale <laughs> and don't go out in the sun very much. We are taking a very cold, light brown, so it doesn't have too harsh contour, but we still want to look a little defined, considering that when you take photos, you look more flat, so you want to add dimension. So that's what we're adding. Put on some highlighter. Uh, we want a chiseled nose, a tighter one, a smaller one we want. Um, I think Instead of going back to the contour color, we are going towards this one and we're taking that one um, since it's lighter and I don't want a too heavy nose contour. I say as I slap on a lot, but she has a, she's very defined up here. So let's slap on some brown eye 
shadow up here. eyelashes no big surprise there um, so let's curl them mascara there we go this one no oh. uh, roll it roll it's from benefits roller lash or roulette slash who knows not me, I got it for free. I'm not going in with underlashes. I know it's a weird choice, but she doesn't have very prominent underlashes, so I feel like it'll look odd for her specifically. But what I want to do, I'll go back with a brown shade in this one, in the next one, and go a little bit more underneath my eye okay I very when I do this it creates little little eye bags under the eyes almost she, hers are very prominent so when I I do this and then I just da -da 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 dab on there that's what I did just make it even more prominent <laughs> <laughs> False eyelashes. I I wore them on the shoot. I actually think I will skip them for this video. I would do individual lashes um, if like when you just take like little strands and put them on, right? Well, basically, because she's very 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 light eyelashes. She doesn't. They are not full at all. They are quite just normal looking eyelashes so i feel like if i put on my eyelashes they will look a lot heavier here's an example i would just i will not put it on but i will just lay it on top of my eye so you have something to compare it with here you can see the difference it's a lot all of a sudden it's like boom cuteness and i feel like that's too much for her so i'm not doing that lips so her lips what i actually did was i created like little circles almost in the corners of my mouth so uh, if you like elongate i'm doing it quite darker than i usually do and then what i do is that i take my eyeshadow back on this one the middle one again Now we've created some fake shadows! <laughs> so I created uh, like two dots here and then one on the lip. For lip color, hers are almost non-existent. NYX Lingerie Silk Indulgent, so it's number 22. It's quite pink, but a quite neutral, natural. Hers are not this defined. I will take a little bit of concealer and actually blur out the edges. And then I will go in with a little, a little, little darker pink. So it's uh, NYX again. <laughs> it's the matte lipstick in natural. There we go. But I'm only taking it at the inner part so it looks gradient like that so it's a little more gradient and then I go in with some gloss and then you might think oh nice Hannah what gloss do you use I don't own any gloss except for one that I got in a Christmas calendar like last last year because I don't usually gloss that much. I need to buy one for a real one. So it's grape flavored <laughs> lip gloss with Elsa. I know it looks sparkly but it doesn't come out sparkly so don't 
don't worry. I feel like I've been so awkward on camera this time. It's a new format, once again. Trying out something new. I'm not used to it. <laughs> so I'm sorry. It is weird. I'm doing my best. I promise. But with that, we're done. How do you like? Is it nice? Is it not nice? Tell me all about it. Thank you to all my Patreons for supporting me through all of this. They were the ones who decided that Luna Freya was next up. Let's see what they choose next time. And I hope to see you the next day. Bye!